Hey, we'll start uh, today's beer video off bright and early in the morning. It's uh, a little after 8 o'clock. It's already 8.3 plus out. Uh, it's pretty froggy. Here's Benny with a bone. Yeah, and it's the uh, 12th of the 12th of the 14th. <laughs> December 12th. So, what am I doing up this hour? Uh, I don't know. It might have been due to the fact that I went to bed at 9 and I actually slept half decently last night. And I woke up, uh, I woke up around 6 actually and it was quite wide awake. I went for E, let the dog out, blah, 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 and now I'm back here. Now what are you going to do? So I'm going to see what happens around this place between the hours of 8 to 10, 8 to 12, when I'm usually in bed. <laughs> I got some chores to do anyway. So we'll see you this afternoon and take care. Howdy! It's afternoon. Uh -huh. So it's about 12, 20, something like that. And the mist of the fog is, has escaped, but now it's raining pretty good. So I think I'll go down to my creek and see if the uh, water is pretty high in it because we got lots of rain in the last little bit. So, so stand by. <laughs> of course, it's picked this time to this like a racehorse. So there's the stream. You can see it's pretty high. Going out of the water, Ben? Let go in the water. <laughs> well, I think I've seen all I want to see down here, in this rain anyway. So, uh, next time we see you, we'll be up at the... Well, <laughs> back to the house. Oop, I, I was just down my, my garden down there, a bit of green stuff down there. And I found some carrots that I never harvested. My beer can is empty, so it's time to move on to the beer portion of this, whatever the hell this is. Got dirty hands. Hey, right. before we uh, start, I'll show you what I got cooking in my toaster oven. It's not really cooking. This is bright enough, but I got some fish that are drying. And uh, on the left there is haddock, on the right is salmon. There's some more light. And I I made smoked salmon before, and smoked fish. But I'm gonna try this new technique. I'm gonna first I marinate it overnight in several different stuff. And then now I'm going to dry it in the toaster oven. Just set on low with the convection oven going so the fan is going. Leave it open a crack so all the moisture can leave. And then, uh, 
Once it's dried, or just almost dry as much, then I'm going to take it out to my smoker and give her a quick burst, maybe about an hour or so of smoke to give that smoky flavor. So, I'm going to try that. Hopefully it works out. Now, on to beer. Oops, I need a glass. I have a glass. It's a first class glass. Turn down Fox News. Okay, see if I can set this up so you can some kind of view of me. Oh, stand. Still laddy. Oh, there we go. Ah, I can edit that out later, I'm sure. So, today's beer is one that I got from uh, James Q. James Q, Jim Q, James Q, John Q. Mr. Q from out west. <laughs> Next, actually, an Ontario beer, as far as I know, it's Steam Whistle, Canada's Premier Pilsner. There's, if you can see that or not, it's not, it's not the brightest in here, I know, but uh, I apologize for that. But uh, five percent, and it says in the back, brewed at the Roundhouse, home of the steam locomotive that helped pioneer our nation. Steam Whistle brings you Canadians, Canada's Premier Pilsner, celebrating era of quality craftsmanship we use just four natural ingredients pure spring water malted barley hops and yeast and that's all you need no strawberry uh, flavor or lime or any of that girly stuff <sighs> anyway that steam must be the reward at the end of your day well this is kind of like the first of my day you get uh, 10 cents for a deposit so that is in uh, the Roundhouse, Toronto, Canada. And uh, what came with this is this nice uh, little uh, can opener. Yeah, focus you. Uh, it's supposed to be a miniature uh, train uh, railroad spike. And it's got the can opener here. And, I don't know, maybe a screwdriver this end. But anyway, that came with it, so that's very nice. And I'll put that to good use right now. Hey, it works well. Come back here, you. So a Pilsner. Smells... Smells beerish, that's for sure. Eh. No, it does. It smells very light. And uh, light and fresh, I guess, if that's a word I can use. Sorry, I don't have my thesaurus here. Aha! Uh -huh. The nice yellow, pale yellow apple juice slash urine flavor, I mean, uh, color. Yeah, just more of that same smell. Mm, smells good. It's good. I don't, uh, it reminds me of something. I just can't think what it is. There's not a lot of hops at the end, which is good for me. The malted barley is not... It's there, but it's not overpowering. It'd be a good summertime drink. Sitting on, uh, I don't know, like on a patio in Toronto watching the uh, young girls go by. 18 and plus, you dogs. Anyway, I'll do a quick uh, munch pack video here. Show you what I got in my latest munch pack. Let's slice her open here. I gotta go fast, I think, because I there's some video at the first of this that, well, by now you've already seen it, but uh, never mind. Bokaden Sober Chocolate. And so it's some chocolate. Oh, look at this. Cooked salami sticks, double barrel. I bet you that is from the US of A. I hope this is not flight. Animal Kingdom. Milk chocolate. That has a certain English or something to it. We got a chomp, Cadbury chomp. So that's either from England or Australia, I imagine. 
We, oh, I got one of these before. Cowtails. And it's uh, Afri American made vanilla flavored cowtails. Creamy, <laughs> chewy caramel with a cream center. Oh, look at this. A good old crunchy bar from Canada. Or somewhere. Dab. Gandor Dab. Sounds vaguely Middle Eastern. I'll see if there's any English on there that I can read. Biscuit sandwiches with lemon flavored cream filling. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Look at this. Tito's. Big, fat, juicy pickle. Look, there's a pickle in a bag. <laughs> Tito's. Let's see if I can pick up where that's made at. New Bronzefells, Texas. The big old pickle. I remember we used to buy these overseas at the American PX. And all different flavors, hot and spicy ones, etc. And some Chinese stuff. So, there's some more goodies that I can give to kids when they're walking by. Or when I'm driving by. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Enough of that. So, back to the beer. It's good. Nice and refreshing. I bet you this is making it ten times worse, but oh. Did you guys see this week's uh Shoppers Drug Mart flyer? It's got one thing here. 30% off, but it doesn't tell you the price. So unless you're some kind of idiot uh prevent that knows all the prices. You don't really know how much it's going to cost. Yeah. Anyway, what's in the middle, though, they give you this for free. It's a little thing of uh, uh, jewelry stuff or makeup stuff, crap, whatever. But anyway, look, it's got a great big picture of Taylor Swift. See that? Yeah. This is prime spanking material. Your big face there like that, you know, do you know, I, I won't say any more, but I think you out there know what I mean, huh? So, I'll save that. Maybe I'll laminate it so I'm going to use it more than once. Uh, excuse me. <coughs> Chris Collier cares. Anyway, uh, yep, so, another rainy day, like I say, it's plus nine or so, or ten. I'm going to put a picture in there, there's stuff growing in my uh, <laughs> garden again. Since it's been so nice. Cheers. This one goes out to Casey Shepard in his glory and wherever he lives. Points unknown. And who's apparently in love with me. You know, it's hard. You know, it just. I got so much attractive, attractive, attraction to me. You know, it's just like I open a tap and just oozes out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But enough of that silliness. Oh, I got my Proline picks for Sunday and last night. I guess you check who won last night. So I'm just waiting to buy here. Uh, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that uh, fish will dry out and I'll get it into the smoker if I don't drown on the way there. That was quite the uh, downpour when I was down by the stream, eh? <laughs> Yep, I give Steam Wessel two thumbs up. It's a light beer. Well, it's 5%, but it's a light flavored. And you could probably polish away about 12 of those in one sitting. Package August 21st. Yeah, there you go. So anyway, I'm having a good Friday here, which I always do. And I hope you're doing fine. And uh, I think we have a good weekend too. So that's it from here. So Chris, out. Good morning, Australia. <laughs>